Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another wig install from Salon Ready Wigs. I love their wigs, you guys, because it's exactly what they promote, Salon Ready, which means the wigs come ready to go. Today I'll be showing you guys their new MCAP 9x6 lace closure wig. This is an HD glueless lace. It also comes pre-plucked pre-bleached and pre-plucked as well. They do consider this lace to have tiny knots, which basically means the knots are non-existent, which means a better melt. This is a water wave texture and I have it in 24 inches. Now I can't remember the density off top of my head, but as you guys saw, this wig is really, really, really full. Now take a look at that lace, you guys. Once again, they send you this lace pre-bleached with tiny knots, which means the knots are non-existent. You can definitely tell that. And as you guys can see, the wig cap in itself is a nice dome cap with an adjustable strap. And it does have three different combs inside of the wig, but those combs are removable. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into this wig install. So I'm gonna give you guys some more close-ups. Look at that lace from you guys. Again, this is their MCAP 9x6 lace closure wig. So you have a lot of lace room, which basically gives you the look of a frontal. However, it is a closure. So if you wanna go in with a side part or a deep C curve part, completely up to you. And I think you could also get away with the half up, half down with this too. Just depends on how the wig looks on you. So after I went ahead and added some foundation onto that lace and adjusted that adjustable strap, I went ahead and threw the wig on. Now, once the wig is on your head, you'll be able to see exactly how the wig is fitting. So if you need to adjust the adjustable strap a little bit more you can definitely do so that's normally what I do we are doing a no glue type of wig install completely glueless so it's extremely important that the lace is laying extremely flat this wig cap on me was fitting very well the lace in itself was a little loose but we'll fix that in just a second but first I'm gonna go ahead and secure my middle part I am doing a middle part today and I'll be using my wax stick and my hot comb just to secure that part in place and also get all of the hair away from the lace that way I can see what it's really looking like and add a little bit more foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip the hair back and just add a little bit more foundation right at the edges. Now, as you guys can see, that lace was blending in beautifully. Ignore my edges, you guys. My edges normally come out pretty far, which is part of the reason why I'm sticking with the middle part today. And I also did decide to add a little bit of lighter foundation in that middle part area. That way it's looking a little bit more like scalp. Your scalp is a lot lighter than your natural skin tone. So that is the reason why I went in with a lighter foundation for the middle part. Now I did go ahead and decide to add a little bit of spray on that lace, not to melt the lace in anymore. The lace was melted beautifully, but the lace was a little loose on me particularly. And I realized that that normally happens when I have a larger lace room on a wig that is meant to be a closure. So for example, this is a nine by six lace closure wig. So you do have a lot of lace room, but it's more so giving the look of a frontal. And with lace frontals, you normally do have to secure them in place. So I did realize that the lace was just a little bit too loose for my preference. So I just added some spray just to secure her down and make sure she didn't move anywhere. But the melt in itself was beautiful. So if you normally watch my wig installs, you know exactly what comes next. I like to make sure that the top of my wigs are laying extremely flat. Please remember to not run this hot comb through the curls. You do not wanna damage the curls. You just wanna do it at the very top. That way the wig is laying as flat as possible and it's giving a more natural look to it. You guys ever see when someone's wig is looking extremely bulky at the top? It's most likely because they didn't do this method. So I just went in section by section, used my wax stick and my hot comb to really smooth down the top of the wig.
Alrighty, the lace is looking great. She is nice and flat. She's giving natural and she's giving scalp. So now it's time to move on to the rest of the hair. And as always, I did one side off camera, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did with the other side. Now this is a water wave wig. Water wave curly textures tend to have this very loose curly texture, which means it's a lot easier to actually style the wig. I normally like to keep it simple when it comes to styling my curly wigs anyways, and water wave wigs make my styling even simpler. It's meant to just be a nice effortless loose curl, so you do not have to do too much to really get those curls to pop. I just refreshed the hair with some water, I went ahead and finger detangled with my fingers, then I went in with a brush and once I was satisfied with how the hair was looking, I set the curls in place with just a little bit of gel. Now any leftover gel that's on my hands, I just went ahead and added it to the very top of the wig or any sections where I noticed there were flyaways. You guys know I cannot stand flyaways. I want the hair to look very nice and neat, all right? Now you can let the hair air dry if you choose to or you can use a diffuser. Me personally, I do not have a diffuser so I did go in with my blow dryer off camera on cool and I just went ahead and blew out the hair. Make sure you guys do not like run your fingers through it too much, that way you don't cause any additional frizziness. But this was the final look you guys, how pretty and how full is that? Make sure you guys check the description box because I'll have all of the wig details including the density of this wig and the direct link that way you guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves. But she's absolutely beautiful, definitely beginner friendly and definitely effortless. I also didn't have a crazy amount of shedding on the floor which is great and also no tangling. This is a water wave unit so water wave wigs tend to have like little to no tangling whatsoever so she was real simple. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you check out that description box down below and I will see you guys next time.